Hey, welcome to Tower Safety's Gearbox Topics. Today we're going to talk about the spreader bar. Because in training classes, I noticed the green hand or the new climber is really struggling with the positioner. Today I'm using as a spreader bar, I'm using my Petzl paw because these old ones that are all uh, steel and heavy and not enough places to connect, it's driving me crazy. So today and actually in future classes, I'm recommending a paw plate. Kong makes one, uh, Rock Exotica makes one. Pretty much every manufacturer makes a rigging plate. But let's talk about our positioners. Our positioners need to be anchored back to a 3,000 pound anchor point according to OSHA. Does again, it doesn't matter. I've got a Skylotech and I have a Petzl. We've got to get comfortable using these because along with our fall arrest, we're using our positioner for our fall restraint. These positioners allow us to work hands-free. So as I connect to my Sexora 100 kilonewton sling, I'm allowed to work hands-free. With this, we got to get comfortable as the new person to sit back and relax and just be able to trust our equipment. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a Skylotech, Petzl, Buckingham, trust your equipment. And what I'm seeing a lot, and this is not legal, is when you go around a piece of equipment, do not tie back to the positioner. If you can see that, if you can see this, do not tie back to itself. This is not a legal use. This is improper use of your equipment. Put a Prusik on this. Put a butterfly. Do not tie back to the rope. But you can tie back to your positioner. Or, in my case, my rigging plate. Thanks for watching. See you at Tower Safety.